and we're back to Final Fantasy IX. All right, last we left, the spirit of Ramu uh, asked us to find his, well, shards of his spirit, essentially, to prove that we were worthy to uh, be his summoner. Or Garnet, specifically, I suppose. And he hid the uh, parts, of, parts of himself here in the area. The fact that they didn't report Joseph's death to his daughter was indicative of their guilt for failing to protect him. In the end, heroes are also human. That's human. You have four to go. Oh yeah, the shards each have a part of a story. Oh, okay. That sucks. With Joseph's help, the troop defeated the Adamant Toys in the Snowfield Cavern and acquired the Goddess's Bell. They needed to enter the Empire's castle. That's cooperation. You have three to go. Ogre. On their way home, they fell into a trap set by a traitor. Joseph gave his life to save the troop. The troop left without telling Joseph's daughter, Nellie, about the tragedy. That's silence. We have two to go. Once upon a time, 33 small countries fought together against an empire. One day a rebel troop visited a man named Joseph, who lived with his daughter. Owing a debt to the troop, he gladly accepted their plea for help. They headed the cavern in the snowfield. That's beginning. You have one to go. didn't even think there were random encounters in this area.
last shard of his consciousness be? Oh, of course, there's a direction I can go that I did not see earlier. Although Joseph's death was not reported to his daughter, the manner of his death speaks for itself. This is the story of a true hero. That's Hero, the last piece. Alright, that's all of them. Pretty sure I have to fight him. Save Kupo. So, you found all five. Let's hear the story. However, the story compromise, uh, comprises four parts. One of them doesn't belong. Be sure to choose only four. Okay. Human. In the end, here is also. First of all, that's the beginning, obviously. They headed for the snowfield. It's the beginning. On the way home, the fell trapped set by a traitor. Joseph gave his life. Without telling the traitor. Okay. Human. Uh, was not reported to his daughter. The manner of his death speaks for itself. This is the story of a true hero. Okay, so. Either human heroes are also human or his uh, death speaks of himself as a true hero. Uh, I'm going to say human. Let's recite your story. Beginning. Uh, oh, he does his cooperation. Uh, silence. Let me ask you one thing. How come you chose human for the conclusion? People pass down stories to other people to whom they feel an affinity. The people in the story had flaws, as we all do. That is that is why they became heroes in the people's mind. I want to know what you think, in your own words. Me? I'm away from my country, but I haven't forgotten about my people. Your soul is very tense right now. Maybe you'll begin to relax once I become your Eidolon. Thank you. There are many paths. Remember that you alone choose the path in which you walk. Paradot. Maybe now? Let's go to Lindlum. Hey, old man. You're gone already? What's wrong? I want to ask him why he made Garnet play such a silly game. Heroic? Human? Those are just things people say after the fact. Why try to give meaning with the, to what the main character of the story chose? I think the old man would have become her idol on either way. That's the impression I got. Zidane, Vivi, let's go! Exactly right. It's not what people say afterward. It's what's important is being true to oneself. She may not have realized it, but when she wished to learn how to use summon magic, the summon power returned to her. Summon magic can be used for good or evil. She's still young, but there's room for growth. So I chose her as my master. I'll be watching over her. I hope you two will also protect her. Yeah, of course.
Look, it's Lindblom Castle. I don't know. I don't think we can turn back once we jump off. What do you want to do? Jump off now. Side aim. I want to use summon magic to protect everyone. I know you can do it, Garnet. Side aim. Look. Is that the red rose? Those lights must be telepods. They're sending black mages directly into the ca inside the castle. And Clara, they use summon magic afterwards. No, mother, mother, darn it! So quiet. Mother. I can't believe you attacked Lindblom. Careful, they might still be around. Vivi, you stay here and hide. No way! It's dangerous here. There are Alexandrian soldiers everywhere. You should just stay out of their sight. Okay. Don't fret. We'll be right back. I'm sorry, Vivi. It's okay. Just Make it quick. Okay. okay. Tomos does have pretty fucked up teeth. Resist us? Yes, to the death. Oh, really? I admire your courage. I'm with the Black Mage and the, um, the Eidolons of Queen Braun is invincible. Resistance will only bring death. Oh, okay. Mommy? Daddy? Where are you? Please don't leave me here. Well, this country still don't understand. Regent Sid lost the war. Why won't we face the truth?
finish it off. Should I crush its head? How about its chest? Stop it. He's a living creature. What did you say? Wrong program to kill, but they're still just like anybody else. Lies. It may look human. That's where the similarity ends. They destroy everything, like wrecking balls destroy buildings. They don't even know we're made of flesh and blood. ship fell out of the sky and almost hit me. Thank goodness only a small cargo ship. Rejoice, for you are now part of the Alexandrian Empire. Can't believe we wiped out the city in just one night. Black Maid Soldiers and Eidolon are not of this earth. It's as if we opened Pandora's box. Hmm, someone there? Black Maid just blinded me. Terrible loss. I won't ever see my newborn grandchild's place again. Do you know a rebel group called the Vigilantes? If you do, you must report it to me right away. Uh -huh. I'll do just that. Primitive. Why don't we just play a card game and settle our differences? Their differences. I'm gonna take your shit. Don't mind me. Ether. Phoenix Pinion. Okay, bye. The industrial district is gone, and the business and theater districts are also in ruin. Allocate soldiers to the reconstruction. We must get the citizens' lives back on track. Yes, sir. Uncle Artania. Princess Garnet, Master Zidane. Glad to see you're both safe. Where's Uncle Sid? Is the regent safe? Yes, Princess. The castle was spared. Regent Sid is alive. Thank goodness. I will take you to see him. Darn it. I thought Bran had, in, Bran had imprisoned you. Zidane rescued me. Thank you, Zidane. Walk. But Freya, Steiner, and Beatrix were left behind. I... Ah, the renowned General Beatrix. I don't think you have anything to worry about. I don't think so either, Garnet. We went up in Pinnacle Rocks instead of Treno, but... They'll be fine on their own. Pinnacle? Did you ride the Gargant? How'd you know? It's my job to know the land surrounding my country. However, I sometimes lack foresight. Bronn was after the Eidolons. That much I knew. I underestimated the power of the Eidolons. Maybe I deserve to be cursed with this body. Glad you surrendered. Clay resisted and perished. What should I say? What can I do? Hey, we got a live one here. Watch out, it might attack. Hey, this one's much smaller than the others. Ouch! Let me go! I'm not one of them! Why are you dressed like a black mage? I must be... We took an Alexandrian soldier into custody. I just said... Should we turn it over to Alexandria? Uncle Sid, 
Let him go. Master Vivi is not an Alexandrian soldier. It's only a disguise to deceive the enemy. I, I see. My apologies. I've acquired more information about Queen Braun. Weapons dealer named Kuja is behind the recent string of attacks. Kuja has been supplying Braun with highly advanced magic weapons. Supplying my mother with weapons? Yes. The Black Mage soldiers are among these weapons. According to eyewitnesses in Treno, Kuja appeared from the northern sky on a silver dragon. That's the guy I saw in Burmesia. That he came to the north suggests that he is uh, from the outer continent. The outer continent? There are many unexplored continents in the world. The outer continent is an unexplored continent, continent located to the north of our mist continent. I believe Kuja is the only is the only one supplying Bron with uh, weapons. The man I saw at the castle must have been Kuja. He must be the one who is corrupting my mother. If we defeat Kuja, if we eliminate Kuja, you both catch on quickly. Defeat Kuja and Bron loses her uh, weapon supply. That will be our cue for a counterattack. Challenging Bron will now will only result in more casualties. So we crush the source of the evil. Yes. Kuja will find other clients, even if we defeat Bron. I make no excuses for my mother's behavior, but I shan't forgive Kuja for taking advantage of her. But first, we must rescue Steiner and the others. I'm afraid I can't spare any soldiers. They must remain to protect our citizens. Hey, Garnet, I'm telling you, they'll be fine. The best Dragonite of Vermesia, the, fame, or the female general of Alexandria, and Rustri? How could they lose? Besides, you have me to protect you. Then I'll look for Kuja. I want to go too. There's no place from here. Alright, let's go kick Kuja's butt. You want know, the fastest ship in Lindblom? Airships can only fly where there's mist. And the mist only exists on this continent. That means you can't cross the ocean on an airship. What about the new airship you can, that can fly without mist? It's not ready yet. Besides, it's under Braun's control. Braun gave us two commission, conditions for our surrender. One was the surrender of the new airship. The other was we hand over the Falcon Claw. The airship I can understand, but what was she one with a piece of stone? I have no idea. Alright, we'll take a vote. That's not an option either. The harbor was also seized. Ah! What do you want us to do? Swim? There's a way. There's an old excavation site near a swamp located north of the castle. Monsters not native to our continent are rumored to appear at the in the excavation site. The cave was found during excavation. It's rumored to lead to the other, lead to another continent. Was cave leads to the outer continent? Doesn't that sound too reliable? Are you sure? I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out. No, no, uh, not knowing half the, not knowing is half the fun, huh? Please protect Princess Garnet. We'll protect the counterattack in the meantime. It's not much, but use it to prepare on for your journey. Three thousand gold. All right, I'll wait here, Zidane. Will you get my stuff too? Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Listen, Lindblom is Alexandrian territory now. You won't be able to come back for a while. Prepare yourself well. Let me know when you're ready. Okay, regarding Kuja. Yeah, I actually really like Kuja as a villain. He's not my favorite, but he is a damn good one. Meow. I waste the price because I don't want to sell him anything. 
but I'll give you a major discount. Honestly, I feel like Kuja is uh, an attempt to recapture some of the uh, charm of, like, the SNES and uh, NES era villains. So the fact that they're relatively similar is probably not a uh, coincidence. Sorry, my shop got destroyed and I don't have much to sell. Okay, yeah, more mimicking Final Fantasy VI than any of the others, but still. Golbez was a fun villain. I definitely wasn't, uh... Definitely wasn't up to, uh, Kuja or Kefka's, uh, standards, but... Oh, he escaped with his life, but he got... But he burned his hands in the fire. He said he won't be able to do any... Synthesis more. more synthesis. So I asked my dad to train me. I'm going to become a great synthesis worker like him. I'll work hard. Cool, but can you, uh. Okay, you can. Exploda. That's, um. Very orky. Hoi hoi. Kachusha? Kachusha, 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 Kachusha. I think it's more than five. Yeah, that sounds about right. Kuja does seem like a midway point between Sephiroth and uh, Kefka. Okay. 
section. Also, beware of spoilers there in chat a little much, because uh, I am streaming to people who haven't played this game before. I mean, it's fine to talk, just don't uh, go blowing any major plot points. started loading supplies. It took long enough, didn't it? Yes, Limbob soldiers won't obey our orders. We must finish up before Queen Brom becomes upset. Send all available personnel to the Arbor and assist in supplying the fleet. Staying here is pointless now that we have the Falcon Claw. Yes, ma'am. district got wiped out. That means I'll never taste my boss's awesome soup ever again. I wonder what the region is going to do. Is he going to uh, let them roam, roam forever free? free forever. Hey, don't talk to me. You blow my cover. I'm leader of the vigilantes. Um... that we don't have enough power to fight Braun. They resisted and her Eidolon destroyed it. And they can't even enter Clara. The region told us to live today and fight tomorrow. We're going to heat him and wait for the day we rise against Braun. Darn it, I lost everything in the attack. There's a combat ship armada when you need it. Their leader is a man named Justin. Please tell him this. Please tell him to stop doing what he's doing. Tell him the cold said so. Hey, don't talk to me. You blow my cover. Is that so? That's what Nicole thinks. But this is my case. I can't turn away from it. This is what I believe in, no matter how much pain it may bring. I won't stop. I'm going, to keep, I'm going to fight for my cause. Even if I have to fight Nicole. Good question. Uh, leader of a uh, rebel group that's completely underground should not announce that fact immediately on your first meeting. Are you ready? I'm ready. 
Follow me. The region is waiting at the base level. Bronze fleet arrives. Why are they loading food instead of valuables onto the ship? I wonder if they're going to take them all back to Alexandria. Maybe they're going on a very long trip. Stop that chatter and keep loading the ship. Damn them. They think, well, they think they can walk all over us. We gotta stall more. Let's keep working. Alexandria rules this continent now. Where else can they go and conquer? What do they really want? I don't know. But you know how greedy Braun is. I wonder where we're going next. I don't know of any kingdom that poses a threat to our country. I'm sure Queen Braun has a plan. There's no need for us to worry about such matters. Come now, we need your help. Some Lindblom soldiers have locked themselves up in the glass room. you wanted to go. What if... What if something happens to you or Vivi? I might not be okay on my own. You worried about me? What? Well, I mean... Um... Princess needs her elite guards, you know. I'd be stranded without you guys. Are you trying to flatter me by calling me your elite guard? Sorry. I was only kidding. You'll be fine with me. What about you, Garnet? We don't know anything about the Outer Continent. I've made up my mind. I don't want my mother to commit any more atrocities. Alright then, I'll protect both you and me. Thank you. Zidane, I'm glad you're here. Vivi, where's Uncle Sid? Um, he said, Guac Guac, wait here, and one way somewhere. Where could he be? I did it! I stopped a trolley between here and the Serpent Gate. That'll show them not to fool around my castle. Now go! The excavation site is like a maze. Be careful not to get lost. And take this with you. It's a rag. Big dope, it's not just a rag. That is a national treasure of Lindlum. It's an ancient map of the entire world. Wow. Thanks! Now go, before they find you. Sidane, Vivi, please protect Princess Garnet. Okay. Uncle Sid. Don't worry about me, I'm stronger than I look. Now go. They'll squeeze all the aglop oil on my body for cut. Let's go, Garnet. Oglop for a regent and a buffoon f and buffoons for soldiers. Why do they take so long to load supplies? Mm. You two, I did not give you permission to rest. I understand that things are moving slow, but keep in mind that the next mission is about to begin. The 
the machine over there stopped and the trolley stopped coming. Right? Yes, it made this strange guark guark sound. I wanted to go shopping before we left the harbor. Anywhere from lookout? No, ma'am. Nothing. This must be Regent Sid's doing. He's hiding something. Come with us, you two. Find the Regent. Yes, ma'am. Going to the excavation site. It's located directly north of here. You'll see a pond shaped uh, like a gourd. You might encounter some strange monsters. Hey, you want to buy something? Maybe some items? Yeah, some remedies are a good idea. Okay, you. What do you want to do? I have no mail. Uh, I read that a long time ago. Alright. Let's save, Kubo. Jumpy boys. Oh, these are early game ones. Okay. Ow. Bum -ba -da. Yeah, the rackets are kind of weird. If, even if only in concept. Right. Yeah, don't ask me what I'm doing, because I have no idea. Does Quinna return? It's been so long. Does Quinna return to the swamp area? Quinna, you're safe. Long time no see, Zidane. Much trouble come back from Clayroo alone. Do you know way to the Outer Continent? I heard there was an entrance somewhere around here. Outer Continent. Maybe I find more delicious frogs. Sound interesting. I help you, and I eat more frogs. I come with you. Okay.
one quinoa retrieved. Have any equipment? I've always pronounced it as Quina. Seems that the complete opposite of both of you. Bear in mind that I still pronounce it as Chocobo. Even though I know that's technically wrong, I don't give a flying fuck about the uh, official pronunciation. It's supposed to be Chocobo, but I've always pronounced it Chocobo, with an emphasis on the middle syllable.
it's one of those things, you know, before there was any um, official word on how it's supposed to be pronounced, you know, before Final Fantasy X, uh, it's like, how any of these names are supposed to be pronounced were completely up in the air. Before 10, if anybody had told me that that's the way uh, Jacobo was pronounced, I genuinely would have laughed at them, because I think it's an awful way to pronounce it. Kokobo? That is... that's new to me. But I have no room to talk. I used to pronounce ogre as org. Granted, that's when I was very young. Is this the place I need to go? Kazama looks grotto. go through the grotto again? Wow, I am completely lost here. The sorcerer? I have genuinely never heard anyone pronounce it as sorcerer. Is that it? Over this bridge? Yeah, the percentage of health you have to take away from the enemy for uh, Quinn to eat something seems a little ridiculous in some cases. Oh, 
Jeez. In fact, not a way I can go. Okay. Actually, in the Q's uh, Q one. Okay. Uh, oh well. Uh, I guess on the plus side, I have. Uh, okay. I guess on the plus side, I have gained a little bit of money and experience just by wandering around aimlessly. Bear in mind that the last time I played this was, well, when it was first released. Granted, I played it for a long time after it was first released, but, uh...
vanish. Okay. Honestly surprised that we were able to get that to work. Oh, potion. Alright, have a good one. It's time to use the Exploder. I see what threw me off. That is not a lake shaped like a gourd. That's a thicket of... Uh... Oh, that's right, there are more frogs to catch. Try to get some more frogs for it. You working hard, Quinna. You came far along, way of Gourmand. I give you this. Silk robe. Thank you, Master Quail. I train more. Shouldn't have worked. I'll have to come back later. I right, done catch him. Oh, one second. Oh, uh, 
Some of uh, Quinn's abilities are based entirely on how many frogs you've captured, captured, including some of his most powerful ones. Quinna, where are you going? I smell... I smell frogs. No, we have to look for an entrance to the Outer Continent. I smell frog this way. Hey, Quinna, hold on! Darn it. Aha! Frogs. Hold! They run away again. Wait a minute, Quinna. Check it out. This entrance. This must be the entrance to the excavation site. First time I see this. Zidane, we going inside? Of course we will. Might lead to the outer continent. Let's go. Fossil Rue. Uh -huh. Is there something inside? It's too dark to see. What the? I think something was inside. You gotta be kidding. Can I just wait for it and fight it? This one does kind of come out of nowhere, doesn't it? Uh, that doesn't seem like Okay, it just gets back up. Alright. Whoops. That explains why he would just run from him instead of facing him. Can I just run? Armo Dullahan. Damn. Get... <laughs> Whoops. I 
I don't remember this at all, honestly. Outside of the main story beats, I don't really remember too much. Sorry, Vivi. Are you okay? Yeah. Look out! I don't know. I, uh... That was a close call. Jeez. That didn't do much good. Who's there? It's you. I'm looking for you, Princess Garnet. Th have we met? Quit flirting with her. Yes, ma'am. I'm Lanny. I'm under order of the Queen to find you, Princess. My mother? What does my mother want with me? I'm not returning to Alexandria. I've got bad news for you, Princess. It's not you I'm after. What do you mean? The pendant. Does that sound familiar? Let's have it back. It belongs to Queen Bronn. Listen carefully, Princess. You escaped unscathed from the monster, but you're not going to be so lucky with me. Hand over the pendant right this minute. Are you the one who set the monster loose? Retrieving the pendant far outweighs the safety of the princess. What do you mean by that? I meant exactly what I said. My orders don't include Princess Garnet's safe return. What? My mother would never order that. That's enough! Give me the pendant. You're trying my patience. What if we refuse? Stubborn fools, have it your way. Give me the pendant and surrender. Okay, I see what you're doing. Poke. What do you think you're doing?
Come back when you're ready to fight. Era. Okay. You just keep doing that. Why aren't you giving up? Oh, I need to arrange my items. Water. enough yet? Fire. Let's reflect where I call think you're doing? Whoops. Stole a coral sword. Okay. Era. Doesn't happen. Okay, finally. She does not like Quinna. Get 
pretty good. What a drag. I'll let you guys go for now. I actually like one, I guess. Outside of one character, there are no player characters in this game that I don't like. Untamed Gargan, huh? Maybe I can ride it. Bug ride. Is there no way over this way? Alright. The only downside to these backgrounds really is sometimes it can be difficult to tell what an actual path is. Land rays. Feather circle. Trouble Tail. Let me eat. Trying to eat things and this becomes a tad tedious. Level 4 hole. Okay.
first. Oh no. Okay. Dead and bug killers. Here for the treasure too? Treasure? What are you talking about? You don't know? This excavation site has tons of treasure and rare fossils. You're not here to steal them. No, we're not treasure hunting. Does this tunnel connect to the outer continent? The outer continent? You're trying to go outside? Huh. This tunnel's like a web. I don't even know how far it travels. You need to go that way, but it's quite a trip. The only one who can handle, uh, the only way to go further is to hitch a ride on a Gargant. But I'll lead you to a dead end if you want to go wherever it wants. So you navigate the Gargant with a switch over there. What's the relationship between the switch and the Gargants? The switch changes which fountain the water comes from. Gargants hate water. You can block off ske uh, sections you don't want to go to by activating the fountain uh, with that switch. That over there is number two switch. You'll need to trigger it to go over to the other side. I see. How do I get there? Do I have to tell you everything? You can get there on a gargant, but uh, you'll need to trigger a switch number one to do it. I see. Thanks for the info. Oh, have a good night! some trouble uh, <clears throat> that was some trouble I ran into in Clara I was hurt so bad I couldn't even move but now that I've recovered I'm back on track Mogshava Mogki I got a letter from Kupo I don't even know who Kupo is Kupo let's read it together I'm bored, Kupo. I'm so bored I'm going to hide away. Try to find me inside the cavern. Hint, I'm behind a wall. What a care for you, Moogle, Kupo. I fled from Lindblom with my life. Mock shop. Okay. Take a nap in the cave. Let's save Koopa.
much. I'm not sure this guardian is as wild as they're claiming. <laughs> Sacrifice and lucky seven. The encounter rate in this area is really low. Huh. Uh, yeah, abomination is right. That's yeah. I don't remember that thing. Save. Let's save, Cabal.
Hey, you made it this far already? Wanna buy something? Come visit me again. Okay, so there's that. More of Good experience and good uh, money, but uh, the ability point gain is not really that great. Shut out once you flip the switch and go outside. Mm, fuck it. Let's, let's just go. Ordinarily, I would explore this entire cave, but I don't know what I don't feel like it right now. Wow, I can't believe you made this card. I'll let you excavate for exchange for a potion. Sure. Thanks, buddy.
ready? I'll take one more. Oh. Pixel hunting or Kupo. Kupo. Peekaboo. Okay. I'm gonna fair to ask Kupo. I want you to deliver this letter to Koopo. Okay. Thanks, Koopo. Save, Koopo. Koopa wants you to deliver a letter to Koopa. Koopa. That is correct. And also, is there another way up here? No? No. Alright. Ow. survival nest. Locomotion mug. Damages enemy when you steal. Okay. That one is one I need to get. make his moves in boss fights a little more uh, cost effective. <laughs> Let's 
light. There's no mist here. Outer continent. So mysterious. Wait a minute. Hey, how'd you get here? honestly do not remember going to an outside continent so early in the game. I mean, sure, it's been like 15 hours of playtime, but it still seems early to me for this uh, story beat. Metaphorical disc two. That sounds about right.
much, bro. You sure know a lot. Oh, nope. What? It's your first time in the Outer Continent and you don't know where to go? On your way here, you saw a flat building uh, shaped like a bridge, right? Try going there for it first. Frogs? Sure. Thanks. Let's get you some frog. Golden frog. Oh, yeah. You working hard, Quinna. Wait, what the fuck? Come far a long way of Gourmand. I give you this. Thank you, Master Quail. I train more. So, like, what? Is this swamp like a super liminal space, or what? Uh, a gateway between worlds? A, f a splinter in time? There are people here who are duplicated from the other swamp. And no one seems to care. Okay, I guess that's it here.
what special skill you have, then. I want to grind um, her skill up to learn Cura before I continue too much further, and that way I can swap and finally start learning summons. I think it's trying to tell me something by giving me so many items I can learn the single summon I have so far from.
I don't know if that's supposed to be underground like that or not. Definitely something I want to try to do if I can. Ow. Yay. Just eat a cactar, you know, hole. No downsides to this. Okay, three levels up. A lot of experience for that. Okay. Put us up in a tent and then head in. After saving, of course. Let's save Koopa. <coughs> Koopa, Koopa. place. Conde Petty. We came all this well, we came all this way and there's no mist at all. Still still no Yeah, and what a weird shaped village? What is that thing? Maybe it's a temple of some kind. It's very delicious shape. Inside my fine fine cuisine. Jeez. All they ever think about is food. Well, all you ever think about is girls. Uh, that's right. My mind is thought filled with thoughts with uh, filled with thoughts of you. Maybe I'm trying too hard. You think? Rally ho! Rally ho! Rally ho! What's up with these little guys? R rally ho? R rally you who? R rally you who? Rally ho! Hey, hold up! Rally ho! Oh, come on! Rally ho's or secret greatin'? Sacred. If you then I say rally ho, then you canna enter Conde Petit, Hain Tuna de Dwarves. Now wait just a minute here. Rally ho! Rally ho! Rally ho! You can pass. Phoebe and the couple. Hmm. People here sure are different. Come hither, ye. Yeah. Ah, I'm sorry. And just where you think you're going? You're always loitering around. Weeshed, would you stop heckling me for once? Away with you. Um, pardon me, but... Where would you be with me? Y you didn't have to get so angry. If you didn't want to hear me complaining, you'd get back to work. Yeah, FF9 dwarves are different. Uh, all right, woman, all right. Lazy, no good husband of mine. Hmm? Mercy me. How you know you're wee one? Running errands here, are you? Um, pardon me, but... 
Well, give me regards to the others. Gee whiz. The people here aren't afraid of me. Gee whiz. You have to raise your hand up and open your mouth wide when you say rally ho. Welcome to our tomb. We came to this continent looking for someone. We didn't get many outsiders here. I can't lock down the accent. I mean, I know what it is, but... Aha! <laughs> don't you... Uh, don't think I didn't see that. I can see... Uh, can you check me out? <laughs> it's, it's not my fault I'm so comely, you lech. Winner accused. Rally ho! Rally ho yourself. This village have tasty munchies? Aye, that we do. Condé Petit is hame to the most delicious nuts and berries in the world. I can, that's why folks are always stealing food. How rude. Thieves are bad people. Aye, that's right. Hmm. Lots of yummy looking food here. Ah. Uh, I'll let you have that pumpkin bomb there for a thousand gil. Huh? Why do you need gil to eat food? If you didn't pay for something, you're stealing. Ugh. So you're the thief, are you now? N not me. I only gourmand. You can't fool me, thief. No, not I not thief. Conde Petit is hame to heap of good food. What's your favorite? Boiled owl, seasoned aglop, fried fruit beans. Hmm, that's no bad. Ah, an outsider. How come you built your village on this spot? Because we feel the mountains, the woods, and the sun uh, here more than anywhere else. See, Conde Petit is surrounded by the mountains near in the woods and blessed by the sun. Uh, if I could spend my life doing nothing but eating, I'd die a happy man. Garnet and William. Excuse me. Soon and I'm... Um, Soon I'm gonna have to find a wife for my William. Now, Lassie wants your William for a man. Well, what's wrong with the outside of Lassie right here? Um, hi, I was wondering, hmm. Ah, oh, she's a bonny lass at that. But she's awful small to take, uh, send to sink, didn't you, kid? Have you seen... Look at her. She's a mickle bigger than that, than you, I can. I'm not marrying anybody. Hmm. Sanctuary. Mogmat. I have a favorite ask Koopa. I want to deliver his letters as soon as soon as. Thanks, Koopa. Tell me something. How come there's no mist here? What's that you say? Mist? What's it taste like? Rally ho, what can I do for you? Um, okay. They don't know what mist is, but they apparently have the card game here. Curious.
I'll go. Excuse me. You'll be needing a good weapon for the road, will you now? Poison weapons. Poison weapons. Bleeding staff. Ice staff. Lightning staff. Oak staff. Lethal fork. Magic omelet. Lamina's tiara. Ritual hat. Magician's cloak. Sure, I'll buy that too. Hi, you back. I can sell what you be what you'll be needing. Uh, okay, it's just him. You have nail out to pass, laddie. I can't let you pass. So many wee bands around our boots of that day. This is where we uh, this is where we give thanks to the sun out of the heavens. What's the matter, Vivi? Um these two people. That hen you cooked for me was awful it was. Or awful good it was. What way did you cook it? Did you frizzle it with some of uh, your magic? The berries you traded me were stunned in too. But, like, say, what's a wee lad like you doing here the day? Hey, Vivi, do you know these people? How could I? I've never here been here before. Yeah, I didn't think so. I'll try talking to, uh, try talking to some other people. Hungry Brian. Sis, I'm hungered. But you, ate, you, but you just ate a boiled owl, did you know? I did, but it didn't satisfy me voracious appetite. I uh, have to taste something with more punch. Like, say, eh? Rally ho. It's Mr. Pointy, Pointy Hat. Rally ho. What have you to sell today? I like how this is the high priest, from the looks of it, and he's a card player. <laughs> That's the Kirk boat, the symbol of Condepe. Condepite. What's the boat doing up here? Boat? I didn't ken uh, what you're talking about. What's a boat? Maybe that's the... I can't let you pass, laddie. Here, a man and a woman are joined by the blessed and the sun. Of course, when we uh, were a wee bit young to receive the blessing just yet. Someday I want to be joined to Betsy on top of the Kirk boat. And afterward we can uh, we'll go to sanctuary to inscribe our names together. Is that a badger or a dog? Or a dog badger? What's an insider doing here? Hi. Have you seen a strange looking guy here? He goes by the name of Kuja. You're strange looking. No, you see, uh, he really looks, he looks really sinister and, uh, you're sinister looking. You didn't expect me to work on such a fine day as this, do you? You can stay the night for a hundred gil. 
You're welcome back whenever you like. We owe our thanks to the blessings of the sun and the heavens. Good drink is precious. Can so uh, sip it slowly. I'm happy sitting here sipping the tea and gabbing the time away. I uh, soon gonna find a wife for my wee William. I hear tell there's a fountain in the sooth uh, that can sin, uh, restore your body and your soul. Or is precious, no doubt. But we shouldn't have put our hopes in such fairy tales. Spring and sooth, yeah. And I see that they accept Gil for payment, too. So much being for. You know. That's it this way. I don't spend my life eating. Okay. Oh, look who it is. Hmm? Plenty well, thanks. Your goods are always welcome here. Hey. What the? Vivi, wait! Hang on, Vivi! Come back! Vivi! Zidane, what's going on? I have no idea, but we gotta catch up with Vivi. Vivi, where's the black mage? He ran away. Huh? Where the heck did he come from? Has Braun found us? Do you can the pointy hats? Huh? Did you say pointy hats? Nah, I said pointy hats. They come here in the uh, east forest to trade with us. Hey, I mean there's lots of them? And they live near here? Hey, what do you got to uh, go all the way around New Cliff, or Yon Cliff, and then go east to find the Southeast forest? They live, uh, say, deep in the forest that even ours didn't live there. What's that supposed to mean? Zidane, I want to go to the southeast forest and find them. Yeah, me too. I think it's a good idea. We might find some clues. If possible, try new food anywhere, fine. Alright, let's head to the southeast forest. Alright. Clear-headed and confuse. Clear-headed. Uh, okay. Give you clear-headed. Magician's cloak. Meow. Stop, bio and drain. Yeah, that sounds good. This is a story beat I do remember pretty well.
squirrel maps. trying to eat the griffin, but it, uh, slow going because it's healing itself, and if I hit it too much, uh, it'll just die. There we go. Nom the griff, uh, so nom de plume? This game is so good. Even after so long having not played it, the music just randomly sticks in my head. Oh, hey. It's you. Pop quiz. Question number one. I Want to Be Your Canary was written by Lord Aphon. I think that's true. Oh, it wasn't right. It was wrong. I mean, you're entitled to think that FF9's music is better. You're wrong, but you're entitled to that. you. I'll fight you and I'll win. I think they live so deep in the forest, the owls don't even live there. Where there are owls, where there are no owls. That's convenient. Okay. My comment. 
feel it is important important that Quinn eats one. Mushroom agenda. been followed. <clears throat> the Black Mage Village. Oh yeah. H humans! What's wrong? Humans! Run! Wait! Did you see them? Yeah. They are talking. They are others like me. Why would anyone build a uh, village in the middle of a dying forest? Beats me. Where's Vivi? You went that way. But I... Hey! A village. Village always have good few. I go find. Jeez, you people. Life on the run, Gormon's nose, everyday life. According to the book we picked up last week, the customer says give me the usual when he wants to buy something special. What would I do if a customer asked me as for the usual? Being a shopkeeper is really hard. I mean, Garnet is ostensibly human. What are humans? Oh, I forgot. Are they a type of food? Huh? A human? Um. I forgot what to say. I enjoy that they're barely functional. <laughs> Welcome. Huh? Uh, um, can I help you? A black mage selling a mage masher. That seems wrong. Also, damn, this music is good. I think they're very bright. They're just... Yeah. 
also I enjoy that they um, make their homes in the shape of their head. That's cute. <laughs> Humans are here. Vivi! What's going on? Huh? Huh? This is an end, but we're not ready to check you in. Okay, I'm not trying to talk to you. Let me talk to the other guy. Uh, mage blocker. Virgo, hey. Gift of magical music for you by Music House. Um, I guess shopkeepers say welcome when a customer approaches the counter. Um, welcome. Can I help you? Give me the usual. The, the usual? Um... so incredibly rude. <laughs> That's not fair, Zaydan. He's barely functional. Different language. <laughs> eh? Is he the one who came here with that group of humans? He's alright. Look in his eyes. He's weird. Just like us. Th thanks. Um, what are you all doing here? We escaped together from Alexandria and the cargo ships. This far? That's right. We wanted to live in a world where, we, where there were no humans. To find that, we had to cross the ocean. I see. So... Um, what's this? This is a, um, what's the word? It's a cemetery. Right, a cemetery. A cemetery. So, underneath the ground? Yeah, so friends are buried under here. But, why? It's because I, I came here with Mr. 36. We escaped together. We had so many things to learn. It was really scary at first, but we helped each other. Then one day, Mr. 36 stopped moving. He just stopped. Wouldn't move or say anything. My friend who knows lots of things told me that this was what death was. And we had to bury him. Mr. 36 is buried under the ground now. But I don't understand why. He's going to come out again one day, right? When he does, I'm going to wash him off in the pond. What's he talking about? Was it a disease, or was he hurt? Tell me why. That's because... Oops. Oh, Zidane. What's up, Garnet? I was telling him why we're here. Why are we here? Zidane. It's just a joke. Jeez, don't get mad. Can you see I'm trying to make them understand? What's a joke? Is it scary? It's something funny, right, Garnet? You don't seem so bad. C 
because you're here to fight the bad guys. That's right. You're unbelievable, you know that? Hey, where's Evie? I don't know where he went. That worries me. I'm going to look for him. Hey, Garnet! Not again. Gorman's nose. Why you run away? Why not do anything? What are you hiding? Eh? Ooh. Yeah, his aroma is delicious aroma. Welcome to the Black Cat Synthesis Shop. Green tooth. I like the sound of it. love the way this game handles black mages. I know you hide food. Get out! This egg is ours. It's Jacobo egg. Jacobo egg, super delicious. We eat and share it. Share and eat. We're not gonna eat it. Jacobo mother left it for us before she stopped moving. That's right. We're gonna raise it for her. You crazy? I never raise any animal before. Shut up. We can so do it. I not believe you. You eat egg behind my back. No way. Hey, how come you guys can all talk? We became aware one day, each under different circumstances. Became aware? How? I remember being born. No, not really. It was the same with me. I just woke up one day. And there was a human body lying next to me. His body was covered in blood. It scared me. I didn't know what it meant. I ran as fast as I could. When I looked around, I was far away from the front line. There were so many others like me, and we decided to escape together. We heard about this village after roaming around for a while. That's how we ended up here. I see. I wonder what's like down there. Is it warm or cold? <laughs> he doesn't understand. Many of our friends stopped moving recently. The ones that were produced earlier stopped first. Maybe our lifespan is limited. Oh, The swanky music stopped. That's how you know it's sad. Never mind. Mario. 
and favor desk. From Magrio to Mochi. Let's save, Kubo. Sighting. You want to eat too? Chocobo egg. Very delicious. We're never going to give it to you. Are they with you? Can you take them somewhere else? Exciting. It's... it's nothing. Something bad happened? All the black mages seem pretty nice. Nothing happened. Urgh, I'm hungry. This village people eat terrible food. Oh, Vivi, you're back. Where were you? Go uh, where were you? You look very... You got tired, right, Vivi? Y yeah. I don't blame you. You've been walking around non-stop. We should call it a day. I go to forest look for food. What about you, Zidane? Yeah, we'll call it a day. Zidane? Vivi just walked out. Maybe he's letting us have a little romantic quiet time. I'm serious. I wouldn't worry too much. But he's trying to figure something out for himself. Think about it. Vivi never met black mages like himself before. But what if they're being mean to him or saying nasty things? Do you really think the people of this village gathered to do something like that? Maybe, just maybe, he'll find out what he's looking for. Find what? Place to call home. Home. Yeah. Place where he belongs. Hey, Zidane? When you said home, what's the matter? Can't fall asleep? How about bedtime stories? Let's see. Once upon a time... There you go again, teasing me. Once upon a time, there was a man. There was a man who didn't know where he came from. Zidane? This man had longed to find his birthplace ever since he was a small child. His birthplace, a place he only remembered in his dreams. Why? He wanted to know more about himself, maybe about his parents, the house he was born in, or where he was born. One day, the man left the home of his adopted father and went on a quest to find the answer. His only clue was a blue light he saw in his dreams. A blue light? Yeah, he thought it might be a memory of his birthplace. An ocean, maybe? Did he find it? Hey, you're jumping ahead. A lot of things happened along the way. Alright, we can skip ahead. No, he never found it. <laughs> How could he? His only clue was colored light. So, he went back home to his adoptive father. What do you think his father did when he came home? Welcomed him home? No way. The father raised his fist and beat the son he had worked so hard to raise. <laughs> uh, abuse is funny. 
not its rule. Why? I don't know. You know what surprised him even more? The father smiled after beating up his son. Uh, can you believe that? He just gave his son a beating. This is what the man thought when he saw his father smile. This is my home. This is the place I call home. The man is still looking for his birthplace, but maybe he has a home. Maybe. Maybe already. It's the same for Vivi. He's looking for a place to call home. I wonder if Vivi will stay in this village. Who knows? That's for him to decide. Hello. Nice to see you again. Um... I wanted to ask you something. What is it? I was wondering how many people have stopped moving. You're very kind to use our words. But you already know what it means to live and to die. You're asking about our friends who have died, not stopped. Um, seven of our friends stopped functioning recently. I think our lifespan is limited suspected this ever since the first one came to stop. It varies a little, but most of us stop moving one year after production. Oh. I haven't told anyone else about this. If I did, they'd feel the same way I do. What do you feel? I don't know. Fear? I don't want to stop. Maybe I want to run away from it all. But living in the village with everyone fills me with joy joy of living with them far outweighs the fear of death. Isn't the same for you? Traveling with your friends give your life meaning. I... Really? Yeah, I think that's what we were looking for. Thank you. What's up, Garnet? Zidane, someone saw a silver dragon in the northwest part of the continent. People at Conde Pate said that there was a place called Sanctuary where entrance was restricted. I think this Kuja said something about a secret being hidden on this continent. You heard him say that? Yeah, something about the source of the mist? Maybe we can find out more if we go there, and maybe save my mother. Right. Oh, where's Vivi? If Vivi says he's staying behind, Wait for me! Vivi? Everyone in the village asked me to see the outside world and tell them about it. I see. Oh man, I thought Garner and I would get to spend some quality time together. What you say? You know I can't leave me here. I starve. Oh yeah, I forgot about you. <laughs> Let's go, everyone. To Kande Pate. And to the sanctuary that lies behind. I think I've been able to scarf down one of the pores or picks yet.
taste bad. I guess he doesn't like pork. Chances keep getting triggered at the worst possible times. That's true. to admire that Moogle's pers uh, persistence. Okay, uh, yeah, it's about three hours since uh, of this, so I'm going to go ahead and call um, Final Fantasy IX for this week, and uh, I'll meet you back for this again next week.